Hey, this is Kevin Bees, and today we are doing tip number 21 and it continues on the same theme that we've had recently which is around your network is your net worth or it's not what you know, it's who you know and the topic I want to talk about is actually networking. Um, before I do, I just want to show you the environment. It's a little bit cold here in Amsterdam. You can see the, uh, the, the canal is a little bit frozen right now. There's plenty of uh, snow on the ground. I, I, yeah, I don't quite fancy taking a walk across that, but uh, some people will be uh, down here skating on it later. Uh, I don't think I quite have enough guts for that. Uh, but anyway, networking. Let's talk about this briefly. So we've already said that your network is your net worth, and it's the people that you know or who know you that is really going to help you get uh, connected with more potential customers, which can generate you more revenue, more profitability. So let's talk about the idea of networking groups. The, the idea is that there are groups that are organized specifically for this purpose. Uh, we understand how valuable it is, so there are pre-organized groups. So first question I want to answer for you is where? Where do we find the networking groups? Where do we go and meet the key people who could be great to join us as a customer or even to refer other business uh, and make a connection with us, or even to make friends? Now, where would we go? The first tip I have on this, the first tip I have on where would we go is you want to go where your the people you want to meet hang out, right? And that seems pretty obvious, but I've got a client who works uh, with with women, uh, particularly parents. So the best place for her to go and hang out and meet with them uh, is at the school. Now she has young school children herself, so she meets people all of the time, uh, you know, in the school playground. Uh, I have another client who is a specialist in helping people fix their backs. Now, is very smart on her part. She goes and spends time at networking events where there are doctors who specialize in backs, so back surgeons. She's more of a physiotherapist uh, uh, feel. Now, why is that important? Because she meets these doctors, they do the surgery, and then they need someone to help with the physio afterwards. So because they have met her and know her, like her, and trust her, then she gets the work. So really, first and foremost, is go where your clients hang out. It may not be at, go where your prospects hang out. It may not be a formalized or organized group, but go and get involved and be where they are. Now, if you're in business, it may be going to an organized group like a BNI, a Business Networking International. Uh, if you're an expat like, uh, like myself or a lot of other clients, there are organizations like Internations. So internations.org, I think they are. So you can go and check them out. And uh, where else? Outside of that, you can go and check out meetup.com. Meetup is always a valuable place to go and find uh, groups of any different variety. I joked one time on a call with my client that you could probably find the uh, you know uh, meetup group for Tiddlywinks. And sure enough, I Googled it <laughs> and actually there was a group. So uh, yeah, meetup.com could be very valuable. In most of the major cities, you can find uh, a group that's going to fit your needs or your requirements of who you want to meet. Uh, now, once we have found the group, how do we do networking very well? Like, What's the way that we can make the most out of the networking event? Now, if you're like a lot of people that go into these things, it may feel, fill you up with a fear of dread. You're going to have to go meet new people. And here's an insider tip. A lot of people feel that way. Now, knowing that a lot of, a lot of people feel that way, if you just go in with the point of view that you want to be interested Right, you want to go in and meet people and ask questions about them. People's favorite topic is themselves. So just go in and meet them and connect them. So start off, have a smile, be friendly, be that person who's open, keep your body language open and be ready to connect with the people in the room and show interest. Your job is just to find out about who they are and what they're about. It's only when you know something about them then you can offer them help or support. So your objective in a networking meeting isn't to go there and sell them on you, your product or your service, it's to go there and open a relationship. You're there to hunt out the people that may actually resonate with you and you may resonate with them so you can have an additional meeting afterwards to go and connect with them and have an additional coffee or tea or juice or whatever else to, to get to know more about them. Knowing that other people feel very uncomfortable at these events, then also your objective is to help introduce people. If you just met, hey Chris, Chris nice to see you. If you just met Chris here and you know that Chris is really great at online marketing, and then you meet Jane over this side, and you know Jane is really great, um, but needs online marketing. Introduce them. Hey, Chris, have you met Jane? Jane, Chris is really great at what you need, and that would really uh, that will really help. We spoke about law of reciprocity before. That will help if you're helping to introduce people with with, with helpful terms, uh, helpful introductions. That would be great. The other tip would be take along a friend or someone who knows you. It's often a lot nicer if someone else is saying positive things about you, so you don't have to, uh, you know big yourself up you have someone else to kind of say those good things about you um 
I could go on with this. What's the other thing I want to show with you? I want to show you the like, business cards. I, I don't actually have business cards. And there's a, a really good reason for that. And it's because I, when you go to these events, you want to be a collector of business cards rather than the giver of business cards. You want to be collecting the business cards. Now, why is that so important? Because if you have collected the business cards, you're in control of making the connection of the contacts afterwards. Sometimes at these events, people get so many business cards, they can't particularly remember who was who, or they get home and they get busy and they forget. If you have the business cards, you have the control of adding them to your LinkedIn or calling them or connecting with them. Um, what else? I, I think that's probably enough for today's episode in terms of networking. But key thing, you you want to go in, be friendly, be open. Your objective isn't to sell them. It's to build the relationship. It's to connect with them, be interested, ask about them, introduce other people. Uh, and then once you finish the event, you don't have to go and meet up with every single one of those. Pick who are the two or three key people that you think you could take for a, a coffee or juice to develop the relationship. Now, they may be your ideal client or they may have connections with your ideal client. I think that's a key piece. So if I was to summarize today, go and hang out where your prospects are. Make sure you go and find where they are and that may be an organized group or it may not be. And when you're there, just be interested. That's the key piece. Collect those business cards. All right, that's enough for today. I will be back tomorrow. Have yourself a fantastic day and uh, I hope you're feeling a little bit warmer than I am here. Take care.